Have you ever felt that your deadline for the project is slipping away and you feel that you won't deliver the project on time? In this video, I will give you a few tips and a strategy what to do in these cases. And also I will base that on the agile MVP approach and also we'll have one PHP storm tip how to deal with that. So imagine you have a project which is like two months or three months uh, length and you are in the final stages and there are a few weeks left and you feel like you will miss the deadline. You won't launch on time because the scope is too big. Of course, the scope changed a few times during the project and that is pretty typical scenario. What to do in this case? Uh, and I will advise you to look for things to cut corners, basically to launch without something. It's better to launch the project with like 80% of features and other 20% will be done like in weeks later. And meanwhile, those will be hidden in comparison to the scenario that you will try to deliver everything and you won't have enough time for testing. You will launch with bugs and people will be unhappy because full project will be unstable and buggy. So in every project, this on the screen, uh, this one uh, example of a project, in every project, try to look for something to cut in the scope and talk to the client about that. So I will show you three demo projects and just from the screenshot, for example, this is a, our demo project for support ticketing available on GitHub. And from this screenshot, I would guess that you can try to launch without attachments. So for example, someone can submit a ticket, but instead of attaching the file, they could upload that to Dropbox or whatever and add a link into the content. So that would be 80% of good feature. Then another project, for example, uh, managing expenses and income, this report. Uh, just from this screenshot, you could see that report is monthly and you could potentially get away with not doing those drop downs and just show current month or at least the year could be missing because in the beginning of the project, no one will have data for more than one month potentially. So you can launch just with current month and then add those drop downs later. Third example is uh, classifies directory demo. I just went through our demo examples and just came up with those three. So classified by category and these three drop downs. Likely that the project will be launched in one city or in one area. So this drop down of New York or whatever city or region could be irrelevant in first weeks of the project. So my overall message is when you are at like 80% of the timeline for the project and you feel that you will miss the deadline, try to have a conversation with a client and uh, either suggest to them or ask them what we can launch without. Sometimes it's pretty obvious and you can offer that to the client. So let's launch without this and that. But in more cases, you have to ask the client the permission, tell them the real situation, maybe apologize. It depends on your agreement and how strict is the deadline. But just explain the real situation and explain that we have to cut something and just together come up with a list of what we are postponing for the next week or two weeks to deliver and meanwhile hide that thing in the visual representation in the web so just hide that drop down hide uh, any like hide that field just visually hide them the code could be kind of done already but not tested or it may be missing totally but launch the feature accept some exceptions and this is based on the Agile methodology. This is a screenshot, not even a screenshot, it's a drawing of uh, how to basically, how to build products. Don't build products that you don't launch anything final until the final stage, as in the picture above. So this is not usable, this is not usable, this is not usable, and this is usable only when the wheel and the roof is present. An example of a car. Instead, you could launch usable thing, then better usable thing, then a bicycle, then a motorbike, and then a car. And in all the stages, users won't be unhappy. They will be happy with something. Uh, they will be able to <coughs> use it. And those other edge cases could be, not even edge cases, maybe more functionality could be done later. And finally, uh, technical stuff. PHP Storm has awesome feature called to do comments. Uh, anywhere in your code, you could add that to do something. And later you will be able to get all those to do's in uh, just launch view tool windows to do, or there is a keyboard shortcut and you will 
see all your to-do items as a to-do list basically. So whenever you're cutting corners, whenever you're not delivering the feature, add to-do to your future self or to other developers. Maybe it won't be you who will deliver, but just have those to-dos wherever it's needed. And then in a week or two weeks, you will have a list of what to finish. So these are my thoughts, what to do if you're on a short deadline and you feel like you will miss it. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and also check out our Laravel Generator Quick Admin Panel because uh, revenue from that Quick Admin Panel helps me to get more time to deliver these videos for you. See you guys in other videos.